If you want to watch this recipe in Hindi, then check the link below in description box and also subscribe Mrudala's cookbook Hindi channel. Hello everyone, I'm Mrudala and once again welcome back to my channel. Today's recipe that I'm going to share with you all is chicken dum biryani. I uploaded a video on biryani masala paste, so using that masala paste, I'm going to show you how to make chicken dum biryani. For this, we need 500 grams chicken cut into medium size pieces, 1 and quarter cup basmati rice, 1 and half cup curd or yogurt. Don't use sour curd, always use fresh curd. This is biryani masala paste. You can find a link for this video in the description box below. This masala paste is one third cup. In whole spices, we need three bay leaves, that is sage patta, half teaspoon caraway seeds, that is shahi jeera, one star anise, that is chakri pool, five cloves, that is long, one piece of maize, that is javitri, four green cardamom, that is hari laichi, one black cardamom, that is badi laichi, and one inch cinnamon stick, that is dalchini. Handful of mint and coriander leaves, 2 tablespoons saffron milk. To make this saffron milk, soak few strands of saffron in 2 tablespoons hot milk for 15 minutes. Then using a spoon, in this way, mash each strand of saffron so that more color and flavor can be extracted from it. Half teaspoon lemon juice, 1 tablespoon clarified butter that is ghee, 1 4 teaspoon kevra water and salt to taste. First step is wash rice very well till the water becomes clear and soak it in plenty of fresh water for 20 to 30 minutes. Next step is to make the marinade. For this in a large bowl, take curd or yogurt. Whisk it to make it smooth. To this curd add biryani masala paste. Give a mix. Now add salt, lemon juice, mint and coriander leaves. I will save some coriander leaves and mint while cooking rice. Again mix this well. Taste this marinade. Adjust salt as per your taste. And if you want to make it more spicy then add finely chopped green chilies to it. Add chicken pieces. Mix this very well. Let this chicken marinate for at least an hour. Next we need to cook rice. For that take a vessel filled with 2 liters of water. To this add a tablespoonful of salt. All these whole spices. Mint and coriander leaves. Let this comes to rolling boil. Then add soaked and drained rice. We need to half cook this rice. When you press a grain of rice between fingers, there should be a hard bit of raw rice at the center. This is done. Now quickly strain it and spread it onto plate. To layer the biryani, take a pot and put a layer of marinated chicken at the bottom. Spread it evenly. Add 1 fourth cup water to this. This is the same rice water that we strained out. Adding water will ensure there is enough moisture to cook chicken and rice well and also it will prevent masala from burning at the bottom. On this put a layer of half cooked rice. Spread it evenly. On top of this spread saffron milk. Kevra water. and ghee. I am using wheat flour dough to seal this pot. You can also use aluminum foil to cover it. Roll out this dough to cover the edges of the pot. Place a flat plate or flat lid on the dough and press it tight. Make sure that it is sealed well with the dough from all sides. Place this pot on stir. Now place a weight on top of this. I am using a bowl filled with water. Now cooking time is very important. Cook on medium flame for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes place a flat pan at the bottom and cook further for 20 minutes on very low flame. After 20 minutes turn off the flame and let it rest for 10 minutes. 
After 10 minutes resting time, open the lid. To serve, use a flat spoon and start from one side to take it out in a plate. Serve this biryani hot with raita or mirchika salan. You can check out the video for mirchika salan on my channel. I will put all the links in the description box below. If you like today's video, then click on the thumbs up button, share it with your friends and family and also subscribe my channel by clicking on that red subscribe button which is right below this video. I will be back soon with a new recipe. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.